This leak code question is called odd even linked list. It says given a singly linked list, group all odd nodes together followed by the even nodes. Please note here we are talking about the node number and not the value in the nodes. You should try to do it in place. The program should run an O of 1 space complexity and O of nodes time complexity. So for example 1, we have the linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, null, and the output is 1, 3, 5, 2, 4, null, because the odd nodes, which are 1, 3, and 5, would come first, followed by the even nodes. And for example 2, we have the linked list 2, 1, 3, 5, 6, 4, 7, and the output is 2, 3, 6, 7, 1, 5, 4, because the odd nodes, which are 2, 3, 6, and 7, are in the front, followed by the even nodes. All right, so for this question, we want all odd nodes at the beginning and all even nodes at the end. So to make it less confusing, let's change this to this with all odd nodes in blue and all even nodes in red. And let's go one step further and change this to this. Note that none of these changes are actually being made in the code. I'm just changing the example to make it easier to understand. The nodes values in the examples are numbers, but that can be confusing because you might think that the number corresponds to whether it's even or odd. So let's say this had the value of 2 and this had the value of 3 instead. You might be tempted to think that this is an odd node and this is an even node based on their values. But this is not based on the values of the nodes. It's based on the positions of the nodes. So starting from the beginning, every other node is odd and the ones that remain are even. All right, so the way to solve this problem is to split up this one linked list into two linked lists. The first linked list will contain only the odd nodes and the second linked list will only contain the even nodes. The way we're gonna do that is like this. We'll reassign the odd nodes to only point to other odd nodes. So here now you see A pointing to C and C pointing to E. And you'll notice that the even nodes point to each other as well. So B points to D. To make it look better, let's just put them closer to each other. All right, so now that we've put them closer to each other, it should be more clear that we have two separate linked lists. Now all there's left to do is to reassign the last node in the first linked list to point to the first node in the second linked list. Now with that, you have one continuous linked list. Let me just make it look a little better. So this would be your final result with the odd nodes at the beginning and the even nodes at the end. All right, so the way we'll do this is by using four different variables. The first we'll call odd head. This will be the head of the odd linked list and will never change. The next we'll call even head. This will be the head of the even linked list and will never change. The next one we'll call odd. This will start off at the head of the odd linked list but will be reassigned throughout to help us link all of the odd nodes together. And the last we'll call even. This will also be reassigned throughout in order to link all of the even nodes together. And just a side note that when we talk about a node's next property, it's just the next node that it's linked to. So C's next property is D, D's next property is E, and E's next property is actually pointing to null. So let's begin. We'll reassign odds next property to whatever evens next property is. That would look like this. And after we do that, we'll reassign odd to whatever odds next property is. And after we do that, we can do the same thing for even. We'll reassign evens next property to point to odds next property and we're continuing to make progress so now a is pointing to c both of those are odd and b is pointing to d both of those are even now we just reassign even to whatever evens next property is 
And now let's just clean up the diagram to make it more obvious what's going on. All right, so A is pointing to C, which is good because both of those are odd. And B is pointing to D, which is good because both of those are even. But we still have C pointing to D, which is bad because one is odd and one is even. So once again, we have to reassign odds next property to be whatever evens next property is. And then we move odd up to whatever odds next property is. This is good because we now have C pointing to E and both of those are odd. And we'll do the same thing for even. We'll reassign its next property to whatever odds next property is. And then we'll reassign even to whatever evens next property is. And I'm sure you can tell the progress we've made so far. A is pointing to C which is pointing to null, that's one linked list. And then B is pointing to D, which is pointing to null, which is another linked list. So let's clean that up a bit again. All right, so we're done reassigning odd and even, and we know that when we get to the point where either even is null or even.next is null. So all there's left to do is to reassign odds next property to be the head of even and cleaned up, that would look like this. We have one continuous linked list with the odds at the beginning and the evens at the end. All right, let's get to the code. What lead code has given us is a function called odd even list, which accepts a parameter head, and head is a representation of the linked list that we want to reorder in such a way where the odd nodes are at the beginning and the even nodes are at the end. So the first thing we'll do is we'll say if head is null, then we'll just return null because that means there's no linked list. This time around, I won't name the head of the odd linked list odd head because it already has a name, which is head. So just know that when you see head here, it's the same thing as odd head in the previous section. All right, so head is naturally the head of the linked list. We'll set odd equal to head we'll set even equal to head.next, and we'll set even head equal to even. Now we'll just need a loop. So we'll say while even doesn't equal null, and even.next doesn't equal null. Odd.next would be even.next. Odd will be reassigned to odd.next. Even.next would point to odd.next. And then even would be reassigned to even.next. That would look something like this. Odd.next is even.next. Odd is reassigned. Even.next is equal to odd.next, even is reassigned. We'll do it again. Odd.next is going to be equal to even.next. Odd is reassigned. Even.next is going to be equal to odd.next. Even is reassigned. We're finished with that step since even is equal to null. At this point, the even and odd linked lists are completely separated. Now all there's left to do is to reassign odd.next to even head in order to connect the two linked lists. So we'll say odd.next is equal to even head. That'll look like this. And we'll just return head. All right, let's run the code, see how we did. Looks good, let's submit. All right, so our code is faster than about 89% of JavaScript submissions and takes up less space than about 100% of them. As usual, the code and written explanation are linked down below. And if you're interested in other algorithm resources, those are also linked down below. See you next time.